Welcome to the worst of the best podcast. You wanted the best. Well, they didn't freaking make it! So here's what you get. From Canada, Ryan and Ruben. Welcome to the worst of the best podcast. I am Ryan, and with me, as always, on this podcast is my brother, Ruben. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Ruben. So, I have a song in my head. Okay. These are the days, the days I know. These are the days I know. You know that song from Kids in the Hall? These are the days I know, I know. These are the days I know. These are the days I know, I know. These are the days I know. David Hoffner. He works in my dad's store. He's worked for 12 years. He'll probably work here for more. These are the days I know, I know. These are the days I know. These are the days I know, I know. These are the days I know. There you go. Do you know that song? No. Anyways, I kind of wish that it was These Are the Toms I Know. The ripple of Tom Cruise continues. When we talked about Tom Cruise on our podcast a few episodes ago, we accidentally called him Tom Hanks. And then when we did the Tom Hanks episode, we accidentally called him Tom Cruise. Then we mentioned Tom Berger and, and Tom Bergeron. Yes. And we're like... I got the two confused. Yeah. We got those confused. And we realized there are a lot of celebrities named Tom. And so on today's episode, we want to talk about actors with the name Tom or Thomas. There's about 35 names. We're not going to go through all of them because some of them, both Ruben and I don't know enough to form an opinion. Therefore, they're not the best. They couldn't be the best because we can't even talk about them. So our job is to talk about the worst of the best actors and celebrities named Tom. All right, you ready to go? Yeah, Tom Hiddleston. So we're going to go in order of IMDb. If you want to follow along on your computers or PCs or uh, whatever product you're looking at, Actors with Thomas is what we're looking at. And I don't know what order they're going. They say here, sort by list order or date added. So we'll just do list order. What that list is, probably because of the Avengers, Tom Hiddleston's number one. But uh, so he's an actor famously known for the Avengers. His name is Thomas William Hilston. He's from London. He played uh, Loki in the Avengers. I liked him as Loki. Great actor. He's obviously been in a lot of things, but he's in it like a TV show right now. Oh yeah, he was in Call Skull Island, which I really enjoyed. He was in a TV series called The Night Manager. So people that are fans of his uh, know all this stuff. But he's been in tons of shows, tons of movies. This guy's had a prolific career. And his star is rising. Spoiler alert, he dies. Does he? In Infinity War. The last one that came out? Yeah. I haven't seen it. Oh, sorry. All right. <laughs> All right, no more spoilers. Well, I'll tell you this much. He told me enough. It doesn't take you long to find out the spoiler. All right, still. Yeah, I'm just saying. All, all, right. Right, all, right, all right, all right. All right, Tom Hardy. I got very confused between Tom Hardy and Tom Brady. For whatever reason, I thought they were the same person. Okay. I was like, how is this guy has such a big football career and a big acting career. I was like kind of hesitant to see him in uh, Mad Max. Cause like, come on football and Mad Max. Okay. Ruben, that's, you might be the only person on this planet, <laughs> but absolutely true that you uh, thought Tom Hardy and Tom Brady were the same. person. I really did. I really did. I mean, how much more good fortune would, Either need to have to be a Super well, Bowl. Well, that's champion. what I need. I couldn't. I couldn't wrap my brain around it. It made no sense. I love Tom Hardy. I love Tom Hardy. Me I'm too. A Tom Hardy fanatic. He's got a TV series called Taboo, which I highly recommend. He was, of course, Mad Max. He's got a new Mad Max coming out. He's obviously playing Venom in the recently released movie. Have you seen Venom. that yet? No. I'd like to. Yeah, it, looks, it sounds like it's fun. A TV show called Peaky Blinders, of course. Dunkirk. I enjoyed Dunkirk. Uh, the Revenant. He was amazing in. A legend he's amazing in. Uh, boy, uh, of course, uh, Bane. I love his performances. Bane, The Dark Knight Rises. Uh, Inception, of course, was great. I'm going to have a little spoiler alert here. I don't think Tom Hardy is going to be anywhere near a worse list of anyone's list. I couldn't imagine. Yeah, but I don't think he's very good at football. He's a terrible football player. Yes. Though he might be good at it, too, for all we know. All right, so who's our next Tom? Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. For those who haven't heard it, go back and listen to our Tom Hanks episode. We don't have to say much more than that. Tom mm-hmm. Hanks. Oh, well, I will say he's in my favorite movie of all time. That's right, Castaway. Yeah. Well, spoiler, if you're going to listen to that episode, anyways, Tom Hanks. Not much more to say. Uh, go listen to our Tom Hanks episode. Next, they gave us Tom Felton, of course, probably because of his portrayal as Drake Malfoy 
in the uh, Harry Potter series. That's what he's most famous for. That's why he's number four. I never saw those. You haven't seen Harry Potter? No, I've never seen one of them. Are you going to ever let your kids watch them? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, my daughter's just finished Harry Potter 4. Okay. And she's going to finish up to 7, and then she's going to watch the movies. Our kids love Harry Potter. Uh-huh. And it might be fun for the cousins to do some sleepovers or some sort of night viewing or yeah, a yeah, weekly yeah, yeah. or bi-weekly get-together, especially over the holidays. Yeah, yeah. Watch a couple in a row over like a month period. Well, she's not going to watch any until she's done book uh, 7. Okay, well, a couple years, I guess. No, 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 no. She's, she's pretty quick. Okay. Because the kids love it. Uh, bless her for uh, reading them, by the way. So good for her. Great series. Okay, so Tom Felton. So Ruben, you're not too familiar with him, so I guess you can't really pick him as your worst. If you saw Harry Potter, saw his portrayal, you would. There's no way you would say he's the worst of the Toms, but maybe you would. Number five, Tom Waits. Are you familiar with him? He's that gravelly voice guy. Yeah. He was in uh, Scrooge with Bill Murray, the taxi driver. Was that I, him? I actually had one of his records. He had um, like box set of records with different artists on it. I bought it because like Eddie Vedder was on it. I forget what that was called, and somebody stole it from me. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm not seeing it on uh, Wikipedia. Maybe because it's a compilation album or something like that. Yeah. Box set. I don't know. It's from you to go holding Matilda. Was that one? No. For all I know, maybe I got it mixed up. All right. Yeah, who knows? Number six, Tom Cruise. Again, if you want to listen to that episode, go back and listen to our Tom Cruise exclusive episode. Hear all of our thoughts and feelings on Tom Cruise. Next, Tom Berenger. This is the reason why we're doing this list. We got confused with Mr. Tom Berenger. And uh, the guy that does... Tom Bergeron. Yeah. We can put, this, put those two together. Tom Berenger and Tom <laughs> Bergeron. That's the same Tom, really. Tom Berenger. Tom Berenger was best known for the movies Sniper and Platoon and some other films, and Tom Bergeron for America's Funniest Home Videos. I don't think I can properly pronounce either of their last names. I think I'm doing okay. Good for you. Tom Berenger and Tom Bergeron. I can do Tom Lee Jones. Number eight, Tom Lee Jones. Another solid actor. Oh, yeah. The happiest man in Hollywood. I know. He uh, was fantastic and... The Fugitive. Men in Black. Men in Black. No Country for Old Men. Cobb. Cobb, where he played a cankerous baseball player. <laughs> the so, future, well, wait, 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 wait. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. No, no, wait. Just recite the lines, okay? Yeah. Put on the outfit, recite the lines, and then you're good. Uh, the Fugitive, where he played a cankerous U.S. Marshal. Cobb, where he played a cankerous baseball player. <laughs> Jason Bourne. Where he played a cankerous CIA director. <laughs> <laughs> Men in Black, where he played a cankerous agent. K. Born in 46. I thought the guy had to be in his 80s. Batman Forever, where he played a cankerous Harvey Dent. Two-Face. Natural Born Killers, where he played a cankerous Warden. He does not look good for his age. He has never looked young. I Google right now Tommy Lee Jones' kid as a child. He probably had the same pockmarked, scarred face. <laughs> I'm I, I, on the womb looking like he was Freddy Krueger. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, I guess he had some uh, bad acne. But they didn't stop him. Is that what it was? Oh, well, maybe the mumps. I'm not sure. <laughs> so Tom Lee Jones, Google his high school picture. Tom Lee Jones has never been a child. <laughs> <laughs> his high school picture, he's 44. It's like Benjamin Button, you know, just born an old man. He's never been young. He has never Look been young. He's probably younger than us in this picture. Oh, easily. Oh, He's never been young. That is insane. His wrinkles are better actors than most people. Yeah. All right, moving forward. All right, Tom Wilkinson, a famous British actor. I don't uh, know. I don't know. Oh, you don't know? Okay, we'll move on from that one. Tom Gibson? No. Thomas oh, Jane. Oh, I know from Dharma Greg and Criminal Minds. Who, Thomas Jane? No, Thomas Gibson. Oh, that guy. I like him. I like Dharma Greg. Yeah, so Thomas Gibson from Dharma Greg. He's also been in Criminal Minds forever. He got fired from the show for something. I can't remember why. Some sort of whatever. Thomas Jane, he was in The Punisher for a bit. Uh, he was in the movie The Mist, Stephen King's The Mist. Okay. Uh, very good actor. Then we've got uh, actor, it's not actor, but uh, director, writer, Paul Thomas Anderson. Wrote Pudge Struck Love and Mongolia with uh, Tom Cruise. <laughs> Remember him? You'll know the movies when you see them. 
Yeah, I think I vaguely recognize them. Inherent Vice with uh, the Master, There Will Be Blood. Oh, I remember that movie. Yeah, he wrote all those. He wrote that? He wrote everything he directs. He wrote There Will Be Blood? That guy did? Yes. Whew. Yeah, he writes everything he directs. That was an incredible uh, Man- Magnolia with Tom Cruise. Really? Boogie Nights was his big one that he... I mean, that was the one that got him on the map. Some said it was a little long. Yeah. Have you seen The Master with Philip Seymour Hoffman? No. And Walking Phoenix? Very good. Is it and the not, Scientology yeah, one? Yeah, it's not, but it is. Maybe I did. I don't know. The master. That, I don't know. Tom Skerritt. Skerritt. Another actor who's never been young. Tom Skerritt and Tom, Tom Lee Jones have always looked old. Because Tom, uh, Tom, Tom Skerritt was in Alien. And he looked 65 in Alien. That came out in 1979. Okay, this is related but not related. The new Predator movie? Yep. I saw it? Yep. Terrible. I know why. Terrible. Why is it bad? Why? Give me a one sentence review why it's bad. The opening scene right after the trailers, I thought it was another trailer for like a Wayne Brothers movie. What? Doing like a spoof on sci fi. The graphics were so bad. I thought this was like, you're getting tricked, you know, like, oh, the movie's going to start, but no, it's just going to be a comedy on. Like a Wayne Brothers spoof movie, like the graphics were terrible. The acting, well, some of the acting actually wasn't that bad, but terrible lines. The Predator walk around just looked like a man in a suit walking around. Well, I think it was a man in a suit. Well, yeah, it was. It, oh, it was just terrible. I laughed out loud during one scene. <laughs> um, where you weren't supposed to. <laughs> you weren't supposed to. <laughs> but that said, I was entertained because it was so campy. Oh, uh, it was almost bad enough to be good? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think I would see, like, if they did, like, another one with the same cast, same, but yeah, I would just see it. Just so, see. ironically, you would see the sequel with the same cast. Yeah, 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 because it was just so bad. Oh, man. Yeah. But okay. Tom Skerritt. Let's go back to Tom Skerritt. So, um, he was in uh, that show Picket Fences, which I really enjoyed when that was out. Mm-hmm. Thomas Hayden Church, do you know him? I love Thomas Hayden okay. Church. Yeah, he's great. Thomas Hayden Church was uh, the big movie Sideways. He was also played a side character, one of my favorite westerns of all time, Tombstone. Tombstone. He was uh, in Spider-Man 3 as the Sandman. But he was in that other show. What was that TV show he was in? Uh, Northern something? Wings. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Do you know what our grandpa Mike, what his favorite show was? No. Fear Factor. Oh, really? So he was a Joe Rogan fan. He's a Joe Rogan fan. Isn't that hilarious? Good for him. Yeah. yeah, Rip. Yeah. Henry Thomas? Well, uh, that's last name. Tom. Let's, let's, oh, sorry. Let's, sorry. Let's I, I, I just, yeah, you're right. You're right. Sorry. Yeah. Tom Welling from Smallville. I was friends with somebody who was friends with him. That's really cool. Yeah. Any insights? Anything you can tell our Smallville fan? Sure. She was a makeup artist for Tom Welling. She was the safe friend, I guess you could say. Right. Because he was married at the time. He was going through a divorce or a separation. Right. I don't know if it went through or not. And so he spent a lot of nights on her couch. Oh, wow. I'm sure she was excited to have Tom Welling on her couch. So he's going through a divorce. Or a separation at the time, yeah. Right, and he crashed at your friend's house. Yeah, 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 yeah. If someone were to play on a movie, it'd be like Rebel Wilson. Oh, wow. So she was Rebel Wilson. Is she the... I think that's the name. Is that name Rebel Wilson? If she was in the movie Shallow Hell, she would be playing... What everyone saw. Anyways, okay. but apparently he's a very nice guy. And right now he's currently on the show Lucifer, playing Marcus Pierce. I did not know that. Yeah. He's on 22 episodes, so he's still oh, doing wow, fine. Oh, wow, 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 good for him. Yeah. I liked him. He, you know what? He, he was a great... I love Smallville. I saw yeah. every season. And he was a great great Clark Kent, great Superman. Yeah, a very handsome young man. He's 6'3", eh? Speaking of handsome men, Tom Selleck. No one can beat that mustache. I love Magnum P.I. Uh, my wife and I watched that show Blue Bloods that he's in. He's great, and he was also great as a side character on Friends. Oh, yeah, I love, love him on Friends. <laughs> yeah, so he's, he's great. I love the way he talks, the way he moves his mouth and the mustache. There's, there's something about it. <laughs> uh, you forgot about Tom Wapat. How could you forget Tom Wapat? Dukes of Hazard. Oh, oh yeah. my goodness. He's just a good old boy. He's, he's just a good old boy. Yeah, with the Confederate flag on his... Uh, yeah, field Confederate field. flag. <laughs> that, that, that doesn't age well. Tom Wopat was a favorite actor of uh, Donald Trump. Tom Sizemore. How did you hear Tom Sizemore? I recognize the name, but I, I can't. Saving Private Ryan. Oh, okay. Okay, not enough to speak to him? Not okay. enough for, for me to put him on the worst or the, or the best. Right. You know what I mean? Well, that is our uh, list there, Ruben. We can also include honorable mentions Tom Holland, the new Spider-Man. Okay. He's an up-and-coming star. Uh, Tom Ford, I guess, is a star, but not an actor. Right. So let's go over quickly some best there, brother. 
Okay, just to recap the list of people, there's quite a few here. And you, the audience, see if you agree with our choice, who is the worst actor named Tom? Tom Hiddleston. Tom Hardy. Tom Hanks. Tom Felton. Tom Waits. Not really an actor, though. He's been in a lot of movies, a lot of shows. Eh, okay, we'll keep going. Tom Cruise. Tom Berenger. Tom Lee Jones. Thomas Gibson. Thomas Jane. Director, writer, Paul Thomas Anderson. We kind of cheated because it's the middle of the name. I just realized that. You know what? We're going to allow it. He does go by Paul, Paul Thomas. That's like his first name. It's a hyphenated PT. PT. Tom Skerritt. I'm sure I'm saying his name right. I think it's Tom Skerritt. It's Stania. All right. Thomas Hayden Church. Tom Hooper. We didn't talk about Tom Hooper. Oh. <laughs> then forget, I don't know. forget him. Okay, he's a director. You actually, Tom Welling. Tom Welling. That's right. I said it again. <laughs> Tom Wopat. Tom Sizemore. Tom Selleck. All right, boy. That's actually a pretty uh, <laughs> tight... I feel, I feel bad. I feel bad we're picking... What a, what a great group of Toms. Being named Tom kind of produces a good manly quality. Some good... Not that sounds... You know what I mean. But these are good male actors. If they're on screen, I'm not going to run away saying, why am I watching them? I do have my worst pick, and only because it'd be like, if this person was on screen in a movie... My saying that I can't wait to see him on screen more would be the least. And that's Tom Waits. Uh, oh, okay. And I could argue, yeah, he's more of a, a song, a singer. But he's been in quite a few films. If we go to his film role activities real quick. He has 43 credits to his name. Oh, well, good for him. So that's that's a good... And he's actually got something in post-production right now. So he's still an active actor. Though he sings and does albums a lot more regularly than he does act. But enough that... He has 43 projects, and if I happen to watch one of these shows that he's in, I'm not excited or not really not excited if he's in it. But I've seen some of this stuff. Like, I've seen I've seen Mystery Men. I've seen Domino. I've seen The Book of Eli. Just looking at it really quickly here. I, I've heard Seven Psychopaths is actually a lot of fun. I haven't seen it yet. So he's in movies, and again, when he's in them, The Fisher King. Yeah. So these are all movies that I've seen, but I'm not saying that I love that movie because he was in it. I'm going to disagree with you on this, brother. Okay. I would rather see Tom Waits because because I'm not going to know who he is. Hmm. I might not think, oh, there's Tom. I won't get confused him with somebody else. You, do you know what I mean? I'm going to see. So my pick is Tom Selleck. Oh, wow. Mustache? Be- you, you, uh, because mustache I'm, I'm just thinking Tom Selleck. Right. I'm thinking Magnum P.I. He has to age probably five, ten more years for me to, to, for him to be old man Selleck. He's got to not dye his mustache, go gray. That mustache is naturally black. What are you talking about? Oh, please. He's got the same dye box just for men that Saddam Hussein had. You know what I mean? Like, anyways, I like Tom Selleck, but I'm still thinking Tom Selleck instead of the actor. Does that make sense? Yeah, and I, I like it, and I agree. I agree with your reasoning. Your reasoning is sound. Ah, uh, bless your heart. And I have to do a correction before we get tons of fan mail, Ruben. Tom Waits was not in Scrooge. I thought it was the taxi driver. I'm trying to find who that taxi driver was. It's hard to see these little pictures. Oh, this guy, I think. Yeah. David Johansson was the taxi driver in Scrooge. But you can see where I got confused. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay. Well, thank you for listening to the, today's episode. Leave us a review on iTunes. Five stars, please. Or follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Like us on Twitter. Follow us on Facebook. Whatever it takes. Leave us a review. Again, remember, in front of every silver lining, there's a cloud, and we're here to help you find it. Thank you. That was fun. It's good. Good recording. Got your recorder's case, and you know where.